Okay, limited edition six of six video, six of six, my favorite hockey inserts. This is focused on the precious metal gems on the FLIR side starting in uh, 2012. Um, these cards, uh, a lot of these I, I purchased over the course of the last, let's just, two years, right? Um, pretty much. Um, most of them were purchased in 2020 before things started going crazy with prices. Um, you know, I saw the other day, recently, I think I saw, you know, I, some of the 2012, you know, PMGs. Same goes for Jambalaya. 2012 PMGs like that are Ovechkins and Crosby's are just selling for thousands and thousands of dollars. I just don't, I don't understand it, but I did sense that they were undervalued way back when. So, I mean, I'm right in that aspect. Um, these guys are tough to strategize on grading because of, especially these 2012s, because they chip so easily, the edges are, you know, are rough. But, you know, I think these are some of the cards that are most likely to be worth grading at the $100 price level. Although I think in the end, you know, that price has to come down for me to grade any of these. Here's a Patrice Bergeron. Um, these are the, the these are blue, obviously. Um, blues are numbered out of 50 in this particular year. Okay. Um, here's a Carey Price. Again, and they're 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 really cool looking cards when they're in um, when they're in hand. Um, and uh, Martin Brodeur. Again, out of 50 in 2012. We've got a couple of uh, couple of reds from the same year. Here's Evgeny Malkin. These guys are numbered out of 100. Okay, and uh, Joe Sakic again out of 100. All right, we're getting into now 2013. So first, let's uh, let's take a look at this guy. Here's 2013 Brad Marchand. Came back a nine in the uh, the grading process. The reds are uh, numbered out of uh, 75 in this case, which is interesting, but not consistent. Um, okay, 2013, oh, Brad Marchand. You're noticing a trend. Here's Brad Marchand in a blue, numbered out of 25. So they went down, I think, you know, because over here, these were numbered out of 50 in the blue. Now they're 25 the next year. Tamla Solane. Fun. Uh, Red Dino Cicerelli. For all you youngsters out there, go look up his stats and uh, his goal scoring prowess. One of the all time greats. Tamla Solane in red. Again, number 75. Oh, we got, uh, <laughs> I bought these a few a couple of years ago when they were basically giving them away. I think I've got, I got both of these for under like 10 or under $15 each. I have to go back and check the records. Paul Coffey, again, talk about all time greats. Uh, stunning to watch on the ice. <clears throat> all right, now we're into 2015. Okay, here is a uh, blue Patrick Kane. And uh, 2015, no, not 2014, excuse me, um, the blues were numbered out of, I think they were numbered out of 25, but they were the first 25 of the of 100. I'll have to double check on that, see if I'm leading you astray. But um, here's a uh, Bobby Hull in a blue. Again, number 23 out of 100. So you're, you'll see that all these have low numbers. And uh, here's a, a Taylor Hall. I was buying, uh, I bought a lot of Taylor Hall inserts uh, when he got signed with the, for the Sabres and we thought he would have a great uh, run with um, Jack Eichel. Um, not so much. This is 30 out of 100, so that kind of goes against my theory of blues being numbered a certain way, although Maybe the greens are higher number. I'll, I'll do some research on that in post. Here is a pasta, David Pasternak. 
someone who reminds me a lot, a lot of Alexander Ovechkin when he plays. Um, just giant, like big guy, killer shot. Blue, number 27 out of 100. This is his uh, rookie year, so that was uh, that one hurt to buy from a wallet perspective. Now we're getting some reds, Evgeny Malkin. All right, so he's 92 out of 100. So I think, yeah, the, the reds, you were going to see that these are um, all relatively high numbers. Here's Taylor Hall, 72 of 100. And uh, the big guy, or at least right now, Leon, Leon Dreisaitl, rookie PMG, red, in really beautiful shape. Um, this year doesn't chip as much as the uh, 2012 or the 2015 that we'll be looking at next. Um, and this is uh, 65 out of 100. All right, cool. So now we're getting into 2015 FLIR showcase with uh, you know the precious metal gems. This is a green Artem Artemi Panarin rookie um, in an eight, right? The greens are numbered to 10. So pretty rare start. That was the, was the only one I had uh, sent in as part of that particular grading order that I did. And I'm obviously very sad that I did not send all these in. So we're starting off really big. This is a purple Artemi Panarin numbered to five. So a bit limited. Here's another green Panarin. Um, I'm going to compare uh, the surfaces on this guy. Again, another one out of 10. So I have 20% of the Panarin market. Yeah, he's a ranger, folks. But, um, you know, and it scares me what he's going to do over in the coming years. But um, he's that good. Here are two blues. Again, nice shininess. These guys are numbered out of 50. Okay, and, uh, and a handful of reds, okay? Oh, let's drop those. Now, in this, this, time, in this case, this year, they're numbered out of 150. Um, let's try not to ruin all these, Chris, uh, before they're in slabs. Um, yeah, so a handful of these are items that I am definitely considering to send into PSA very soon. Um, we'll see what happens. 2016. Now we're getting into 2016. Here's a Brent Burns in a blue. These blues are numbered to 50 that right year. Patrice Bergeron, yet again. Again, he's somebody, you know, he doesn't put up gaudy point numbers, but they're really they're pretty freaking good, and his all-around play is just amazing. So, you know, he's the leader of that Bruin team. So, keep an eye on that on his his cards. Here's a Johnny Gaudreau, and I, this was part of so again out of fifty. This was part of the, you know, the I guess I had targeted Gaudreau and uh, Taylor Hall as young players in good situations two years ago, right? Um, when I did some buying and. Uh, now, Gaudreau's having a really good year this year, but he, he totally underachieved last year. Here's a Vladimir Tarasenko. Took a chance on this one pretty recently because I was able to snag it for a pretty reasonable price. Um, and he's lighting it up this year. Hopefully he comes back from COVID, COVID list soon. Um, a handful of Taylor Halls on the red side. These are, again, numbered out of 150. Uh, yeah, let's make you dizzy. All right. What do we got? We got number four, 108, 118, and 127. That's fun. Meaningless, but fun. There's a Zach Wierenski, one of the best young defensemen in the NHL. Plays for Columbus. That's probably why you never heard of him. All right. And uh, we're going to wrap it up with... Three more Johnny Gaudreau's, except this time in red. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, Hockey Inserts series. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.